Hello guys, this is my Silla de Bee plush toy, but today I wanted to talk about something else. I wanted to talk about my hair. So, this is Jean Renault, a very expensive wig, like 700 euros or something, and I ordered it a long time ago when my hair wasn't so great. So you can see how nicely it looks. It was actually longer, but I had to cut it a little bit because it started freezing. But still, it's a nice wig. However, it's a bit old. It's, it's actually synthetic, uh, synthetic hair. It's not real hair, but it's really high quality material. Now, I also have this. This was 1500 euro. So we would expect some exclusive quality whatsoever. So this human hair, real human hair, this is beautiful. You know, this is absolutely beautiful. Now, let me just put this on. Right, so you can see how crazy this hair is. It's actually lots of hair, you know, it's actually lots of hair. But this, you know, see, it doesn't actually hold well to my head. I would have to shave my own hair in order for it to hold or wear one of those caps. I don't have those caps. So, yeah, but this is really cool, right? Just look at this. Such a Silla de Bee cheek, right? However, I don't wear any of those. I don't wear this. This is 1500 euro. And this is 700 euro. All together. <laughs> 2300, uh, something like this, right? Right. So why don't I wear this anymore? Let me show you something. Something that costs 8,000 euro. All right, time to reveal what I have in my head. This is my hair, my own hair. It just grows on my head. Just look at this. There's a lot of it. There's plenty of it. Like, just look at it. There's lots of hair on my head. You know, and you know this is this is Dr. Passu in Thailand. So he fixed me. You know he fixed this hair. So I, I was bald here. He did me hair transplant, and voila! And my own hair grows that long. This is my own hair. Just compare it with this one. Like this is longer. And the other one was a richer. There was more hair in it, but. Uh, so I like it. I like for the photo shoots. They both go cool. like I can use the weeks for photo shoots. But this is my real hair. Ah, it's my own. <laughs> and quite honestly, I don't know what to do with this because it keeps freezing all the time. I have to put so much different hair products into it, and I'm going crazy with this, you know. So usually, what I do is I show you. I have this toy. This is my favorite toy. You can also use this. You can just go like this, okay? Between your fingers, go like this. Okay, so first of all, just put it like this. Okay, now go ahead like this. Okay, and now if you want a nice high pony, what you need to do is you need to take it up, not side, but up, you need to put it up. So to go like this, something that you cannot do with the wig. So you go like this, you know, like this. And then, oh, you can make a high pony. All right, so we have a high pony. Let me show you. It's high pony, it doesn't go on my face. However, there's still hair going on my face. And for skating, this is so annoying. So I use those. I just put them in. All right, now, now I can live life. <laughs> so I could equally just shave all of this and not bother with this. But then I wouldn't have all this hair. The whole idea of having hair, right? To have hair so that I can just put like this and no one sees the hair anymore. And what I usually do is, because I've noticed that this bobbin here is not really helping my hair. So my hair is breaking, I lose a lot of hair on these bobbins, they just crack. So what I use is this guy, this guy is so much better. i show you how to use that. 
So let me take the bobbin out. So I need to be careful when I'm taking the bobbin out because this is the moment when I'm pulling the hair. There's always some hair on the bobbin. So that's the proof that it's always wrong. So instead of putting bobbin in, I just do this high pony thing, okay, with my hands. Then I do like this with one finger around the finger, like this, you know, it's just like this, okay? And, uh, oh, this is what I do. And then I grab it like this. Oh, voila, got rid of all this hair. And this thing is not gonna destroy my hair, you know? Also, this thing is good because when I take it off after a number of hours, uh, especially when I work, I use it because it goes on my hair goes on my face when I work and I want to type and hair goes on my face and it's not good for typing. When I make dinner, lunch, hair on the face, no good when you work, work in the kitchen, right? So it needs to be like this. But sometimes I want to be, you know, pretty and I'm just going to do this. So I can leave them in actually. It would look like this. Okay has some beauty in it when I leave those pins in. But then I can remove the pins. I need to be careful with them because they also pull the hair. And then gently with fingers like this on the outside, not on the inside, like this. Oh. Voila.